the bipartisan lawmakers working on developing a relief plan released a more detailed proposal but have not yet resolved key hurdles. With us now is Bloomberg senior editor following U.S. economic policy in Boston, Chris Ansey. Chris, it's great to have you on Quick Take today. What's updated in this new proposal? Uh, good day. Uh, so essentially what we have is a little bit more flesh on the bones of the $908 billion uh, proposal uh, put forth by uh, a group of uh, Republican and Democratic senators uh, and backed by a bipartisan House group, the, the problem solvers, last week. Uh, they, uh, however, as you indicated, have kind of left out the most contentious uh, pieces. Uh, it's kind of like turning in your math homework without answering the, uh, the most difficult problems. Uh, and those two hurdles uh, that uh, negotiators have been trying to grapple with are the liability protections uh, against uh, COVID-19 related lawsuits uh, that uh, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell in particular wants, uh, and uh, large-scale uh, state uh, and local aid uh, that Democrats want. Uh, so those have uh, been kind of left to one side. At the end of the day, those two items are going to need to be dealt with by the congressional leadership, by McConnell, by mm -hmm. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi uh, and, and uh, Chuck Schumer and, and Kevin uh, McCarthy. And there's no indication at this point that those four – uh, are going to sit down. Uh, you know, we've got a little bit of time left, uh, but not a lot. Uh, and that's uh, sort of what we're looking for uh, next. Okay, so, so what is the timeline here, Chris? Because you said we have a little bit of time left, not a lot. Of, look, millions of Americans struggling right now and certainly waiting for some guidance from, from Capitol Hill. What's the timeline look for them? So there's kind of a soft deadline uh, of December 18th. Uh, so the uh, both sides have indicated that uh, the COVID-19 relief package, uh, if there's going to be one, would be attached to a critical government spending bill. Uh, now, U.S. federal government spending actually runs out on Friday night this week. Uh, but in order to uh, avert a shutdown, Congress uh, today and, and perhaps tomorrow uh, is going to be passing a seven-day, what they call uh, a continuing resolution, mm. which keeps the government funded uh, for a week. Uh, so the idea is uh, when they look at that uh, bigger funding package uh, that has to be done by December 18th, uh, that's kind of the deadline. Uh, and if you think about it, you know, in terms of the timeline, uh, you know, we've come a long way uh, in the past nine days right. uh, since uh, this bipartisan proposal was, was floated. Uh, we've had a lot of movement uh, in nine days. We got another nine days to go. You know, it's not without it, it, it's still within the realm of possibility. We get a deal here. Bloomberg's Chris Ansey in Boston. Thanks, Chris, for your time and for joining us on Quick Take today. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.